Welcome to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy. So, I decided to create a few technical videos. And by the way, this is video number one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a few videos, probably between seven to 12 videos, where I'm gonna walk you through and building this network, okay? And I'm doing this because I know that's been um, a few people that have been asking, hey Jorge, you know, when are you gonna post some technical videos? And I decided to like, okay, how can I create a few videos, but instead of just walking you through a technical definition, just give you some hints on. And by the way, if you are new, right, in the IT field, this will give you like a, a, a clear view about what a network or probably what a system engineer does, okay? And that's good because now you're gonna know like if this is something that you will see yourself doing, okay? Because once again, I'm gonna walk you through and exactly how to build this network because my goal, my objective, is for these computers to be able to communicate with a computer all the way over here. And also for all those computers to be able to communicate with the web page or website from YouTube right here, okay? So, and probably if you are in the process and getting probably your CompTIA Network Plus certification or even your CCNA, I'm gonna cover a few of the topics. I'm not gonna go in detail, but I'm gonna give you like the big picture, okay? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And by the way, what I'm using right now, because probably this is completely new to you, okay? So what I'm using right now, it's the Cisco Packet Tracer version seven. And you can download it uh, for you to have it in your computer. And you better have it in your computer because what I'm gonna do underneath this video and that description, I'm gonna give you the file so you can have the same diagram, the same network. So you can follow along and exactly what I'm gonna walk you through, okay? And by the way, if you don't have it, the only thing that you need to do is go to Google, okay? And type Packet Tracer 7. And that's gonna show, the first link, it's gonna show up. And once you click on that link, it's gonna take you to the Cisco Academy page. And the only thing that you have to do, you go right here and sign up, okay? And it's gonna ask you for your name and email address, okay? And there is no cost. And once you download it, you know, download the file underneath this video. So once again, so you can have exactly what I have right here. And by the way, I haven't done anything, you know, I just added those network devices, the routers, the switches, the computers, okay? So once again, I'm gonna walk you through the process. So this is video number one, and that's gonna be probably between seven to 12 videos total, okay? So make sure you go through those videos in order, okay? Now, before ending this video, okay, let me kinda tell you what's going on right here. As you can see, we have a few switches and we have layer two switches. And you know, and if you don't, you know, do some research about this. You know there is what they call the OSI model, okay? The OSI model, it's seven layers. And the switch works on layer two, the data link layer. And the switches only care about MAC addresses, okay? A physical address. Now, what we also have is layer, uh, layer three devices, routers. And obviously, right, layer three, that's because they work on the layer three of the OSI model, the network layer. And the routers only care about logical address. That means IP addresses. And you know what's an IP address, right? I mean, if your computer, your device don't have an IP address, they're not gonna be able to communicate with other devices on the network, okay? And by the way, I don't have a layer three switch because I don't wanna make this lab too long, but it's another device called layer three switch. And that device, physical device, it works like a router and a switch. So it can do both, uh, both uh, functions, okay? And we also have, what else? Okay, we have a few computers, you know? Uh, we have a serial connection and this, this one right here. And I know, you probably seen right now that a lot of these dots, they're red and a few that are green. So what that means is, you know, like when you have a router, a brand new router out of the box, I mean, it doesn't work. You have to log in to that router and configure router, that router, okay? And the switch, I mean, if you take the switch 
out of the box, it's gonna work. As long as that computers have an IP address, I mean, they're gonna be able to communicate with each other. You just get that computer, plug it into the switch, and bam, you know they're gonna be able to communicate. So yes, once you take the switch out of the box, it works, but not the router, okay? Now, another thing that I'm gonna walk you through in the next video, it's we're gonna set up the IP addresses and the computers and also on the routers, okay? And by the way, probably, you know, you probably knew, and you're like, okay, you know how a computer gets an IP address, okay? And that's a few ways. One of them that we are gonna do, it's by us going to that device, the computers, and statically put the IP address, okay? And that's another way that obviously more likely they use in real life, and that's by using that DHCP server. And basically what it, what it does is, once you put that computer, right, and plug it in on the network, what's gonna happen? That computer, it's gonna send a broadcast. A broadcast, that means it's gonna just say, hey, you know, I need an IP address. It's any DHCP server, they can provide me an IP address and another IP settings, like the Sumnet mask, the gateway, the DNS. And then, if that computer gets a broadcast, it goes through this process called DORA, okay? D-O-R-A. Uh, a, okay, discover, offer, request, and acknowledge. And when that happens, it's gonna provide that information. But if the computer sends a broadcast and it does, I mean, there is no DHCP that can reply to that broadcast, then that computer automatically, it's gonna assign what we call an APIPA IP address. And I know if this is new to you and you're getting kind of like frustrated, you know, that's fine, you know, go through those videos and you're gonna get the whole picture, okay? Because let me tell you one thing, a lot of people in the IT field, they get, you know, into the IT um, career, but they have no passion about it. And that's the reason why they're unable to get, you know, a badass position, a really high paying position in the IT field. Because they don't do what it takes for them to get those jobs or to get one of those opportunities, okay? So make sure you like the IT field, okay? And more likely, if you wanna be a high paid, badass and successful network or systems engineer, okay? So I just gonna give you like the overview on exactly what's gonna happen. And remember, you know, none of those devices are configured. And that's exactly what I'm, the process that I'm gonna walk you through. And I'm gonna cover some topics, okay? I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but, I know that I'm gonna be able to give you a lot of valuable content and information that some way or another, it's gonna help you. And by the way, you know, go through this process and okay, how can I, you know, get just the technical info and content, but also how Jorge is walking me through this process. Because this is something that you need to know. Like, how can I present, okay? How can I sell? information, yes, you need to sell what you know to other people. People that are technical, like engineers, or other people that are non-technical. And that's exactly how you're gonna, I mean, you need to take advantage of it, okay? Because once you go through the job interview process, you wanna make sure that you can differentiate yourself from everyone else. And the way, okay, that you present what you know makes a huge difference. And this is a reason why I don't have a PowerPoint presentation because I'm trying to engage with you and for you to get that concept like, okay, how can I present what I just learned to other person, okay? So, don't forget, download Packet Tracer, download the file also underneath this video so you can have this in front of you and make sure you take a lot of notes. Don't just go through the videos by watching the videos because it's not gonna be that, efficient, okay? So, this is video number one. I'm gonna talk to you on video number two, where I'm gonna walk you through and set up the IP addresses and those devices.